Ian Mathias from Mathias Unboxing here and this is a little bit different from the normal script just let me do a little bit of a review to the channel um, at the moment I don't know how it's happened but I've got 132 subscribers to the ch channel and we've got 14,086 views as of 6.44am on the 1st of April yeah I do get up that early I don't have much time in my day to be fair um, the initial idea of the show was to be like a radio phone channel and predictions but at the moment we are just a prediction channel that is something that we are not going to change hopefully we're going to come with reviews and um, there is something very special i'm working on in the background uh, i'll bring that to you in due course and yeah that's where we're at at the moment with the channel so as for the actual prediction themselves i'm just going to run through them nice and quickly here um so the first fight which happens to be the biggest video that we've had which was david benavidez versus ronald ellis that has currently got over 7500 views if only i knew how that happened i'd replicate that and have all that on my videos but that's a different story for a different day so benavidez versus ellis we went with ellis but we went by benavidez by kale and that happened the next fight on that night was Estrada versus Gonzalez. We went with Estrada on points. That happened, but in all honesty, I thought Chocolatito won that fight. So um, I'm still going to claim a moral victory on that one. The next fight was Jessica McCaskill versus Cecilia Breakhouse. Um, this one I thought was a really 50-50 fight. I thought Breakhouse could change and adapt this style. But great news for the channel. We picked McCaskill by points. That's exactly how it played out. Moving on to the 20th of March, we had Virgil Ortiz versus Maurice Hooker. We picked uh, Ortiz by Kale. That's exactly what happened. Better BF versus Deans. Better BF by Kale. Exactly what happened. And Akole by and Cliff Christoph Glowacki. Again, we picked for a knockout for Akole. And we got that one right as well. Moving on to the Saturday just gone. The 27th of March, the pay-per-view show which saw Dillian White get revenge on Alexander Povetkin. We called that as a white KO. Wardley versus Molina. We went with Wardley KO, and that's what happened. The 50-50 fight of that night, Congo versus McKinson. We went out on a limb. Although me, I thought the Congo would win that fight. Chris Chapman, he picked Michael Kinson, McKinson on points. That's exactly what happened. Also, something mega happened on the show. I done a video for Amanda Serrano versus Daniela Bermudez. Amanda actually watched and listened to the video uh, and gave her a shout out on her Twitter for a seven weight champion to do that. Pretty much blew my mind uh, and I thought that was actually an incredible, sort of says how humble she is. And with that Serrano fight, we did go with a Serrano points win. She did knock Bermudez out in the ninth round. But yeah, again. That was the 10 fights we called in the month of March. We got them all right, um, which actually made me go back and have a look at the fights that we've called all year, even though there's been some real 50-50 fights. The only fight that we didn't get accurate and correct was Rakimov versus Diaz, where I actually went with a Rakimov victory, but that fight ended in a draw. At the moment, we got six predictions out for upcoming fights. We got um, Akhlamidev versus Iwasa, We've got Jamal Herring versus Frampton, where hopefully Frampton goes on to make history and become the first three-weight Irish world champion. We've got Madrimov versus Colombo. And then for the April 10th match from card, we got Shannon Courtney versus Ebony Bridge, Conor Ben versus Sam Vargas, and then over in the US, we got Joe Smith Jr. taking on Maxim Vlasov. Going forward, I'm looking to try more interaction. I'm starting today on our Twitter we're going to be running daily polls for the month of April, just mainly trying to revolve around the predictions that we give. There'll also be a few other topics there. Um, looking back on the month of March, uh, a massive, massive shout out to Lee McGregor. Um, definitely the performance of the month, winning the European title. It's probably the smallest shout out you'll ever get, but Lee, great work on that front. Guys, um, thank you very much to all of you who subscribed and even listened to one of the videos. It's really, really mind-blowing sometimes, to be honest. Um, I never thought this would do as well as it does, but uh, I'm really enjoying it. 
we're going to keep the inconsistent keep getting you three predictions a week um, and look we'll be looking to do um collaborations with someone um i've spoke to a few people um on twitter who i'm going to be doing a few things with um so for all of them i'll give you a shout out when the time is right but thank you very much for that um excitedly as well we're looking to team up with a friend of mine which is scott scott and keevan at southwest boxing media um going forward we'll be doing stuff with them as well so i'll keep you in the loop on that but yeah i just want to say a, a massive thank you for everyone who's listened to and subscribed yeah peace out thank you guys